I haven't had anyone become forceful or absolutely overwhelmed by terror. Uh, what's very remarkable is we had one volunteer who's very soft-spoken gentleman, and he became quite withdrawn. And literally for the first two hours of the drug session, after he kind of reclined and we put on eye shades and headphones, um, really signaled that he didn't want any communication. Um, there was no shift in color or musculature. His parameters, heart rate, blood pressure, didn't appreciably increase. Um, but he was kind of in his own space and made it very evident he didn't want us checking in or talking with him. So more guarded, um, but not in a dramatic way. What we found as he moved through that initial space where he was somewhat withdrawn um, into what for him was really a transformative experience, one that he felt changed his life in a very positive way. Um, the experience he had was of being buried alive for hours and gasping for oxygen and trying to struggle to fight, to fight, to fight his way out. So if we, I mean, try to imagine that, that's horrible. It's an awful experience to even imagine. Um, and for two hours, in a very um, internalized way, that was his psychological experience of fighting, 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 until he gave up. He let go. He let himself die. He let himself be buried. And consciousness shot out, and he went on to have a very profound experience. So for him, the next day, after um, the whole experience, um, and he was in a very different state of consciousness and reflecting back, um, what I was struck by was he said, I needed to fight. I needed to hold on to my sense of self. I needed to keep holding on until I couldn't anymore. And so part of the story he created um, was to essentially create additional suffering for himself, to hold on to his ego as the drug increased in terms of blood levels in his brain and the intensity of his experience. He needed to keep holding until he broke apart. And that that then was a movement into transcendent experience for him, and a very positive one.